showing you that it's still pretty in pink there. Zero right now in Youngstown, zero in Boardman. We are four below zero currently in Austin Town. And folks, I wish I had some better news for you, but these cold temperatures will be sticking around here throughout the remainder of the day and even over the next couple of days into the weekend and even the start of next week. We're also creating one below up there in Cortland. Now, here are a look at the temperatures over the last 24 hours, and you can see they have continued to drop. We were in the teens, and we thought that was cold, and we're currently sitting right now at the airport around four below zero. So it's very bitterly cold out there. Make sure you bundle up if you need to be outside here today. Here's a look at the current temperatures around the region, showing that we are all currently in the single digits or below zero right now. And those winds are calm, and any light breeze though that we see out there right now will bring those wind chills down a little bit. And as you can see here in Youngstown, we are currently at three below zero. And you can get frostbite here within 30 minutes. So make sure that you bundle up if you need to be outside. And because of these wind chills, a wind chill advisory remains in effect for Trumbull and Mahoning County until noon today. And a wind chill advisory also remains in effect for Columbiana and Mercer County until 1 p.m. today. So again, make sure you take every extra precaution to stay warm and cover up any exposed skin. Here's a look at the national picture showing that there is that big plume of Arctic air right there. You can see it's three below right now in Youngstown, two right now in Chicago and up there in Fargo, North Dakota. It is six degrees and this is uh, not as bad as what we've seen a couple of weeks ago, but this is uh, associated with that polar vortex that's currently still up there in Canada, but just a little bit of that colder air has made its way towards the south and that's what we're experiencing right now. Now, the other story that we'll be keeping an eye on here over the next 24 to 36 hours will be the radar here. As you can see, we're quiet right now, but I am watching a, another storm system that will be moving in here from the west. And as you can see here, here's the front end of it right here. We could be seeing some snow showers as we head into the overnight hours tonight and into the day on Thursday. Currently, we're at a three below zero temperature reading. The winds are calm. And uh, here's the future forecast showing that those bitterly cold temperatures remain here throughout the day today. We do warm up though into the lower teens as we head into the afternoon. But notice that those clouds do increase as we head into the afternoon hours. And by Wednesday evening into Thursday morning, snow showers will return. Those temperatures still remain cold. And even into Thursday afternoon, we could still be seeing the chance of some snow showers, uh, a little bit of an accumulation, maybe an inch in some spots as we head into the afternoon and the evening on Thursday. And then into Friday morning, just some remaining leftover flurries. For today, 10 degrees, some morning sun, but then those clouds will increase as that system begins to move in. And for tonight, It'll still be cold, folks, six degrees for a low. Snow will be likely about an inch or less in accumulation. And the seven-day forecast, well, it remains cold throughout the rest of the week. We warm up a little bit on Saturday, but that snow returns as we head into Sunday and the start of the work week and school week. Those temperatures will only reach highs in the teens.